Radioactive cesium exceeding the government standard has been detected in shiitake mushrooms grown indoors in Fukushima Prefecture. Grown indoors in Fukushima Prefecture. This is the first detection of excessive radioactive cesium in produce grown in greenhouses in the prefecture since the nuclear accident. The Fukushima prefectural government says 1,770 becquerels per kilogram of radioactive cesium was detected in mushrooms grown in Date City. The level is more than three times the provisional government limit of 500 becquerels per kilogram. 560 becquerels of radioactive cesium was also detected in mushrooms from Motomiya City. At least 157 kilograms of shiitake mushrooms from the two cities were shipped from early July through Friday to Tokyo, a supermarket in Fukushima City, and a local farmer's market. Fukushima officials are to ask the farmers to recall their produce and refrain from making new shipments while determining the cause. Japan is bracing for a large, very strong typhoon, Maon, that's moving over the Pacific Ocean south of Japan, passing east of the Daito Islands in Okinawa Prefecture. The meteorological agency says Typhoon Maon was tracking north of Minami Daitojima at 20 kilometers per hour as of 8 a.m. on Monday. The typhoon has a central atmospheric pressure of 945 hectopascals. Winds of up to 162 kilometers per hour are blowing near its center. Waves are expected to reach a height of 12 meters in the Daito Islands and southern Kyushu. The agency is warning of strong winds and high waves. Heavy rain is also forecast. With Maon expected to make landfall on Japan's main island of Honshu on Tuesday, Tokyo Electric Power Company, or TEPCO, is rushing to put a makeshift roof on a turbine building at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant to keep out the rain. TEPCO released a photo on Sunday showing its preparation work. The metal roof will cover the number three reactor's turbine building, which has a hole in its roof caused by a hydrogen explosion in March. The new roof is five meters long and 16 meters wide. It is designed to cover the hole to prevent an increase of radioactive water in the building. TEPCO says the roof is scheduled to be installed on Monday. But no measures have been taken to prevent rainwater from entering the number one, three, and four reactor buildings, which were damaged by hydrogen blasts as well. However, TEPCO says it does not expect any drastic increase of the level of radioactive water in those three buildings. Kansai Electric Power Company says it will temporarily shut down a reactor at its nuclear power plant in Fukui Prefecture due to trouble in an emergency cooling system. The reactor is one of 19 currently operating in Japan. Kansai Electric said pressure dropped inside a tank in a system that injects water into a reactor in the event of an emergency at around 11 p.m. on Friday at the Ohi nuclear plant. This made it impossible to inject water properly into the number one reactor. The company said it will manually shut down the reactor to look into the cause of the problem, although pressure returned to normal in about one hour. The utility plans to suspend the reactor's operation at around 9 p.m. Japan time on Saturday. It says the trouble caused no leak of radioactive substances to the outside. Kansai Electric has 11 nuclear reactors, of which four are now offline due to regular inspections. Two more reactors will start undergoing regular inspections next week. The firm says stoppage of the number one reactor would make this summer's limited power situation even tighter. Kansai Electric says it will try to generate more electricity as well as asking its customers and the public to lower demand for power by around 15%. 
lawyers from around Japan are collaborating on legal action to force the closure of nuclear power plants. Over 50 lawyers from 20 prefectures that host nuclear plants convened in Tokyo on Saturday. They plan to file a lawsuit to stop the resumption of Reactor 1 at the Ohi plant in Fukui Prefecture, which was taken offline Saturday afternoon because of a malfunction. They will also file to prevent the restart of Reactor 1 at the Takahama plant in the same prefecture, which is undergoing regular inspections. The lawyers intend to launch a procedure in the autumn to halt construction of the Oma plant in Aomori Prefecture. The project has been suspended since the March 11 disaster. Similar lawsuits have been rejected in the past as courts ruled that safety measures were adequate. But the lawyers argue that the government's current guidelines on designing nuclear plants are inadequate because they do not consider the possibility of an extended interruption of power supply. Japan's minister in charge of the nuclear crisis has indicated that resumption of reactors taken out of service for regular inspections will be approved after their safety is ensured. On an NHK program on Sunday, Goshi Hosono said it is necessary to reopen the reactors for the sake of the people's standard of living. He added that he wants to win public support for resumption by underscoring safe operation as a primary prerequisite. Regarding nuclear administration systems, Hosono said he wants to make the Nuclear Safety Agency independent of the Economy and Industry Ministry and to incorporate some of the monitoring functions of the Nuclear Watchdog Commission and Science Ministry into the new entity. Hosono also said he plans to draw up a blueprint early next month so that the new body can be formed as soon as possible, hopefully by next April. Meanwhile, the chairman of the Japan Association of Corporate Executives has expressed concern about the shortfall in electricity supply as a result of the nuclear crisis. Yasuchika Hasegawa said unclear prospects for a steady supply of power would cause more companies to shift manufacturing abroad. He added that increases in power rates may erode the international competitiveness of Japanese industry. Come on to the coast, we'll get together, have a few laughs.